like to wipe the Excuse me. I think you're in my seat. Oh, I'm sorry, I have a 31B. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry, that was your foot. Are you okay? Oh, excuse me, could you hand me that, that bag right over there? Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. I think that's why. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> hi. I'm... Hi, I'm Susie Hennessy. I'm Webb. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. You seem uh, a little excited. Oh, I am. I'm on my way to Manila to get married. I nearly missed the plane. Do you know we're landing on Valentine's Day? Have you ever been to Manila on Valentine's Day? It is so romantic. I can't wait. There was so much that I had to do before leaving. I mean, I still had clothes to buy. Then I had to go and finish paying bills. I had to cancel the this bill. Then it took me three weeks just to find the right person to take my cat. I bet he was nice, kid. Oh, he was wonderful. How did you know it was a he? I just figured you attracted the male enemy. Find me anyway. Huh? Well, we don't believe that. How about that, sir? Harrison told me how to get in touch with Maria. I call Maria. Maria tells me how to get in touch with you. And while I'm here, I am. Oh, excuse me. But speaking of, matter of fact, she's one of the finest looking ladies I've ever seen. You and she gonna stay together? I don't know what difference does it make. I mean, what do you, what do you ask? Home, huh? Come on, we'll stay here for a while. <laughs> you crazy? Huh? Wait, 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 wait. It's okay for you to keep all this for yourself for all these years, huh? How about me, man? I just got here. How about letting me have a little bit of what I deserve, all right? He's up, man. I'm gonna make a good team. There are no fucking teams here. I'm gonna go to L.A. Oh, say, you're what? You're gonna go back to L.A.? What are you gonna do in L.A., though? It's like some Hollywood. What ain't Hollywood? How about you? I mean, I just don't want anyone else telling me, you know, what to do and tell me how what I should worry about. Well, okay, so now, now you don't want anybody telling you what to do, huh? How about me, pal? How about you? Would you please stop telling me how to live my life? Tony. Okay, man. This is my new little love bus. <laughs> my father is top brass out at Clark Air Base. He's been there for years. Do you know the Philippines at all? Uh, oh, yeah, pretty well. I I spent a few years there, engineer. Really? I, I, did you like it? Hmm? It's really uh, kind of quiet, kind of run-of-the-mill. Uh, not too much excitement. Names. Just names. All of a sudden, you make me some kind of peeping Tom on farmers who can't even feed their family. Hell, communism looked like that. Hey. Giving to them. What do you expect? I don't need your political philosophy. I'll make these names. Names. Oh. <laughs> names of farmers. Yeah, a lot of excitement. With all of those beautiful girls around. Are you married? 
No, not exactly. I, I have a girl in L.A., but... Uh, what? Is this your first time in the Philippines? The Philippines are yeah. getting married. Oh. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> You still have no details, no names. Come on, you're wasting time. I hope you are going to be sensible. I mean, I haven't heard from you guys in three years. All of a sudden, you're going to call? Tony's gone, he disappeared. He's got mixed up in something, something serious. He's up, man. We can make a good team. How are says, No more will. If I can see if this lady loves you, you're just going to dump her and go back home? I need you. I mean, there's no goddamn way. I can't come back to Vanilla. I have no one else to turn to. Who wants to get lost? How about me, Webb? You're causing too much trouble. I'm staying. Why did you have did to, you marry, to marry Murray? Tell me what you're going to be doing in Manila. Just visiting some friends and family. That's all. Here's my bag. And oh, listen, my. I got to rush off. Uh, I got somebody meeting me. All right. Excuse oh, me. Okay. I was just going to show you a picture of my. Excuse me. Is this the real place? You make such a fool out of yourself. Wonderful to me after you left. Took me to nice places, bought me nice clothes. Then after we got married, he changed. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Does he have a job? He's got money. I have no idea where he gets it from. He's got other girls, too. Other girls? I remember when you used to be a pretty fiery lady. I mean, you'd give me the Filipino haircut if you even thought I was screwing around. What happened? Where are you taking me? To our place. Ramon sa bahay tayo. Is that okay? Yeah. up in the world, huh? <laughs> we used to shit, shower, and shave in the same room. So where'd Tony go? I don't 
don't know. I know that he's been spending a lot of time at the Orient Express talking to Harry Costello. Still on drugs? No, I don't think so. You been? All right. As long as I don't get upset, I'm okay. Drink a little bit too much, but I'm alive, thanks to you. I heard Harry's been having problems since the revolution. He's been feeling the squeeze. <laughs> Guess the city's changing, huh? Sure, a little. Only time can tell how much. Hey, look at how about uh, uh, Jessie? Is that bitch still work at the Orient Express? Yeah, she's still Harry's number one girl. She's only making a living. We'll see about that, won't we? Says are upstairs. Better than the last time. Feel better. Let me get you a beer. Nah. On the house. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. What are you doing back here? I'm ah, just cruising, you know, looking for a few friends and uh, looking for my brother Tony. Your brother? He's in trouble. I'm not surprised. Playing with dope, getting the big ideas, mixing with Harry Costello. Look, how about some leads for an old friend? Look, Webb, I like you. Don't do this. I saw you when you were done out. You look better, but you can't handle this. Leads. OK, you could try Jessie. She works at the Orient Express. I know where Jessie works. Come on, give me some. OK, you could talk with the Englishman. That asshole's still here. You know him? Yeah, I know him. I've had dreams about him. Good luck, my friend. I will let you know if I hear anything. But let me warn you. You should be very careful. Okay?
Jesse, what do you say you come home with me? Yeah. <laughs> You're not enough for him. Hey, shut up. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. No, hey, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, one more, one more. Oh, one more. Great. You scream, you bitch, I'll break your neck. My God, Webb, is that you? I, I thought you were, you were dead. I bet you did after what you guys did to me that night. I'm looking for my kid brother, Tony, now where is he? I swear, I don't know. That's not good enough. I know he's working for Harry, what's he doing? Okay, okay, I'll tell you all I know. My God, Webb, what happened to you? Don't worry what happened to me, what about Tony? Tony was doing small-time business for Harry. You know, grass, a bit of coke. But lately, he got into bigger things. I think Harry must have got to trust him. Bullshit. Trust him. Shit. Please, Webb. I know there was an important deal. Because Tony came in all nervous and went straight into the back room. Harry had these four guys from Thailand and Burma in there with him. I've seen them before. Guys, they used to be around when I was here. Yeah, I think so. Shit. Tony, he's in deeper than I thought. Then Tony left a little later with a suitcase, and Harry said, This will put you in the big league. And then? And then I haven't seen him since. I know Harry's mad. Honest, Webb, I'm telling you the truth. It's like when you left me in that room naked and strung out. I'm sorry about that. Harry didn't give me any choice. Okay. I guess you get it. Listen, uh, uh, come on, I'll walk you home. Valentine's Day. Nothing will take you for a Feel free to give I see you've been entertaining company tonight, baby. Oh, my God, Harry. Please don't hurt me. I didn't tell him anything. Shut up! Listen, Jesse. You've been my number one girl for a long time now. And it kind of puts you in a position of trust. But you see, when I can't trust people... He followed me from the club, Harry, and asked me a lot of questions, but I didn't tell him anything. What do you want to know? Huh? What do you want to know? Uh, about Tony. But I said I hadn't seen him for weeks. You've got to believe me. Listen, 
And listen good. There's only one thing that you gotta remember. You keep your mouth shut. Velvet eyes open. That way, you and me are gonna have a long relationship. And remember, this is JJ setting the mood for all you Valentine's lovers. Englishman in. The Englishman, you know, the guy with the bald head and the little dog is he in. Do you understand English? He does when someone speaks it, Mr. Nielsen. Do come in. Hmm. Nice place. How very nice to see you again, Mr. Nielsen. And looking so much better than when we last met. Tea? Or would you prefer beer? <laughs> Tea. Milk? Sugar? Neither. I don't imagine for a moment that you just dropped in for tea and erudition. There is presumably a point. I'm looking for my brother, Tony. I collect Oriental antiques, Mr. Nielsen. Not little brothers. Let's stop the charade, okay? Obviously, you're into more things than Oriental antiques. Now, Tony's involved with Harry Costello, and I don't know what the hell's gone wrong, but something has. Ah, Mr. Costello. Not the ideal chap upset 
as you very well know. Apparently, Tony agreed to take a package to the United States for Mr. Costello and got lost. Got lost? You mean going to the United States? Trouble was, the package was worth about a million. Dollars, unfortunately, not real money. Hey, look, let's get to the bottom line, all right? I mean, obviously, you're involved in this thing, and I want to know what the hell Tony's been Won't up to. He... I'm... Life is just one perpetual tea break for you, English. Isn't it? Oh, Mr. Nielsen, would you mind using the uh, tradesman's entrance? It's less conspicuous. <laughs> Hey there, little buddy. guys welcome me to town, that's all. So, you think you can use a drink, hmm? Yeah. Oh, so what the hell is that? <laughs> it's called a tropical delight. It's the house specialty. Great. So I see you know your way around pretty well for someone just arrived. Well, I think uh, better than you do. <laughs> Where did you say you were going this morning? Uh, I was looking for Tony. For who? Tony, my fiance, remember? I'm a little worried. I haven't seen him since we landed. You know, he used to hang out in a place called the Orient Express. It's located in Mambini. So I Look, was just going to take I a I was car. at the Orient Express last night. You were? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I have a picture. This is Tony and I. It was taken us. Oh, What's the matter? <sighs> What's the matter with you? That's my brother. It's my brother. I've been looking for him, too. Oh, come on. This is incredible. Is Tony in trouble? I'm not sure. I think so. I went to see his apartment last night. His apartment? He was there. Yeah, nice place, over on Rojas Boulevard. Where on Rojas Boulevard? Well, I don't know the exact spot. I can show you where... No, I don't want you to show me. Just tell me where it's at. What's the cross street? You don't understand. I was there last night. It is locked up. I have to put a note under the door. You're not going to be able to get in. We'll see about that. This is the date of last week. Well, there's got to be some kind of a mistake. Tony was meeting me here in Manila. Look, there's no mistake, all right? I'm afraid you're going to find out a lot more, too. At least he left my 45. Eh? Webb, look. It's a bathroom. Webb, you're scaring me. 
Sam. Look, I... Those are mine. Thank you very much. Please give them to me. Uh, look at them just a few minutes. Give to Tony. They are personal. You look at them and then you let me know, all right? You know a guy named Harrison? Concern. All you need to know is nobody's trying to hurt you. Hey, you little son of a bitch. Listen, about Tony, you know he got a little sideways, went crazy, he just wouldn't take any advice. So what I've done, I've taken his toys away from him for his own good. But the problem is, he's just up and run away. Now, where is he? I wish I knew. Harry Costello wishes he knew, too. Of course, Harry seems like a reasonable guy to me, but then again, you'd know him better than I, wouldn't you? I mean, you were his best customer. Harrison, the guy in the note. Yeah, let's stay there. He's right over there. He's been watching us all along. Where's Tony? That's all I care about. I was where is Tony? You want to get in this game? You said that Tony's been running heroin for the guy that owns the Orient Express. Only Tony screwed up, and now they're after him. I don't believe you. He's not like that. <sighs> I'm his brother, and I'm telling you that Tony's... No, you don't tell me anything. I'm telling you that Tony wouldn't get involved in anything like that. You didn't have to get involved. Just... Leave me alone. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Remember, I'm getting Costello smack. Maybe you believe his wife. Oh, what? Wife. Filipina. You seem to be very certain of the outcome. Because I am. He may not look like much to you, but remember this. I trained him. It was good. Very good. Harry, 
there's a girl in yes, the Yes, yes, don't tell me, Jesse. She wants a job. Yeah, that's what she said. Well, show her in, show her in, darling. Nice to have a little class white meat on the premises for a change, huh? <laughs> now, uh, is this the same chick? Yeah. Harry, Harry, next time you want a job done, why don't you send up a fin? Knock it off, will you? Come on, come on. <laughs> the kid's an amateur. We're just going to have some fun. Well, Harris is going to see you now. Appreciate your help. I'm very custom. Please, come in, sit down. Jesse no, says no, you want a job. Mm -hmm. Wow. This some toy. toy. Don't call it a toy. <clears throat> this is an exact scale model of the Atchison Topeka in the Santa Fe. It's old number 64. So don't think of it as a toy. I, uh, I've been collecting these all my life. You know, it's a passion. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Okay. Uh, yeah. I do need a job, and I just thought I'd get the money doing what I do best. What? <laughs> sure. Now, what'd you say your name was? <laughs> well, I didn't, honey, but it's Barbara Ann. Barbara Ann. Well, Barbara Ann. <laughs> I don't pay much, but then I reckon you know how to handle your own affairs after work. <laughs> And if you're real good, you can earn yourself a bonus after I get off work tonight. Oh, that sounds just fine, Harry. I can't call you Harry. Oh, but sure, but sure. Why, we're gonna be real good friends. <laughs> so why don't you say hello to the customers? Get acquainted. <laughs> sure. Bye-bye, Harry. Bye-bye. See you later, darling. Simon deal with Harry back to the States. He's mad. Oh, Tony, these people are heavy. Uh, I take this shit out to the airport. These guys grab me. The next thing I know is I'm waking up some goddamn factory out God knows where. And they tell me if I don't walk right with them, this is going to blow my fucking brains out here. They got Harry's stuff, man. I don't have it. You got to talk to him and make him understand that I don't have it. Webster. Harry knows Webster. Tried to kill him twice already. What is Webb doing here? Maria holding. You gotta call Maria. You gotta call Maria. No, you gotta, no, you gotta talk to Maria. You gotta tell Maria that I'm okay. God, here he comes. Susie. How is Susie doing with Harry? The girl in red? It's not her name. It's Barbara Ann. Susie, Susie. I gotta get out of here. You wanna get yourself Leave me you alone. <laughs> Brother Nick special, that stupid Bill Pullman. Now, did it come in yet? Not yet. I'll tell you what, I did get in some uh, signal switcher gear today you could be interested in. Sounds good. Yeah. Listen, I don't have time now. I'll start back tomorrow. Okay, okay Harry. Okay. Now, hey, now don't forget, call me when it comes in. You got it, Harry. And remember, no fooling around tonight. Straight right. home. Okay. <laughs> well, my darling, a man has to have a hobby. It's Tony. 
Tony Webb. He's in Martini. I just found him. I mean, I just talked to him. Tony, is he all right? He was half an hour ago, but he was following Harry in his car. Oh, what's that stupid son of a bitch doing that? Because he saw Harry leave with an American girl named Susie. Where'd they go? Harry's got an apartment in town. But he spends most of his time in Kalubang. Do you have a car, Jesse? Mm-mm. Maria? No, the driver has it. There's a ranch out there owned by somebody named Garcia. He works with Harry. Yeah, I remember. That guy's still involved with Costello after three years. You got a problem? I'm gonna try to check back in the next hour or two. If you hear from Tony, let me know. Jesse, take care of Maria, all right? Webb, wait. Be careful. Oh, well. Mr. Costello. Well. Fish is taking a bait quicker than I thought. Well, suck him in, baby. You know what to do. Yeah, around here. Well, Miss Barbrianne with that phony accent. Now we're gonna see who you really are and what's more interesting. Which one of them rat bags is following Ouch. us? <laughs> to see you again. Yeah. No, no. Why don't we go back to the ranch and have a little chat about this, huh? Me, you, and Barbary Ann, huh? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I was thinking, would you still watch me when all this is over? Or are you going to walk out on me, just like Webb did? You're a mess. Good. 
God. Well, welcome to my little retreat, my little house, my little home away from home. So, where were you been, asshole? Where have I been? I've been... I've been trying to sort things out, Harry. Ah. Like sorting out a million dollars worth of grade A produce? Come on, Harry, man. I don't... Harry, I don't know anything about it, all right? I went to the men's room and a bunch of guys jumped me and I don't remember anything after Bullshit. that. Oh, shit! You had three days to come up with something better than that. We checked your wife's apartment and your little love nest. No calls. You didn't come around. You got a head full of shit, man. Just not friendly. God damn it. Your wife's apartment? Oh, Tony, then everything Webb said was true. <laughs> uh, more little white lies, Tony? <laughs> oh, Harry. Uh, Harry, wait. Harry. Harry. Think, Tony. Wouldn't be a pity to carve up this bitch's face because of an asshole? Huh? Harry, leave her out of this, man. She doesn't know anything, and besides, her old man's a heavy out of Clark. We don't need that kind of shit. We? Where do you get that we shit, man? Did I just acquire a partner? Huh? Is that true about your old man? He's my father works there. <sighs> well, I'm... I'm sorry you told me that, honey. Because you just signed your death warrant. <laughs> Wait, I'll tell you what you want to know. Yeah, I have. I have been working with Webb. I know where your heroine is. Just get this bastard out of my sight because he has made a big enough fool out of me. Get him out of here. I want to talk to Barbara Ann private. Wait, 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 First, my name's Susie, it's not Barbara Ann. Second, uh, I know where your stuff is. And, uh, you and I can make a deal. Baby, you're in no position to bargain. Aren't I? Oh, Harry. You don't want to lose a million dollars worth of heroin. No, baby, but I got six times that amount stored here. I'm not worried. Just that I don't want to be taken by cheap punk like Tony. It's bad for my image. Maybe, um... Maybe I can improve your image. I mean, maybe we can get your stuff and, um... <laughs> maybe we can have a great time doing it. What, uh, what about Tony? <laughs> Fuck Tony. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, nice and easy. Come on, put your guns down on the floor. Come on, up here, now! Just do it, you dumb shits! What the hell's going on, Susie? Tony, don't waste any time. Let's just get out of uh, here. What's in there? Uh, some books. All right, come on, move it! Now, let's go! Move it! Come on, damn it! Fucking ass, you prick! Son of a you bitch! Now, Harry, huh? Uh -huh oh, you're gonna Sayonara, get yours. Sweetheart. Oh, you'll get yours. <laughs> you fucking rat bag! Don't close that fucking door! Listen, 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 listen. I didn't want you to get involved in this. There's a light in here. Right, There's right. a flash. Hold you. You want this in the gun room, that son of a bitch? Get that door! Take it easy, Harry. Hurry up, let's go. Let's get out of here. Tony, can we please discuss this at a more convenient time? No, we cannot talk about it at a certain time. You. Tony, everything that you said to me was a lie. It was all a lie. You gotta get out of here. Come on, let's go. Stupid fucking hot. 
box. Shoot the fucking door okay, down. Boss. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. You see that face? You give me a lot of grief, baby. And now it's my turn. Time's that plantation train come through here. About five o'clock, Harry. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. <laughs> perfect. Just perfect. <laughs> Get her out of my sight.
back there, come on. You know, I was uh, just wondering whether to give you a farewell treat or not, <laughs> seeing you're lying there looking so uh, inviting. <laughs> but I'm not into necrophilia. <laughs> oh, let it pass, let it pass. Jesus Christ. <laughs> now, you see, the great thing about this baby is the anticipation. See, you're going to feel the vibration long before you see that old baby. And it keeps getting stronger and stronger. And then, there she is. Magnificent. And then before you know it, there you are. Neatly separated into three or four pieces. Yeah, you will. You're a real wacko, Harry. You know that? I'm not gonna tell you another time. A man has to have a hobby. Well, come on, boys. Off to the grandstand. Break a leg, baby.
can't stay out of it, can you? Boy, this is some dull, boring life you're leading. Hey, cow, cow, go. Come on. I see it. What's a damn jeepney doing up here? Don't worry about the jeepney. Just make sure you don't waste that guy, for Christ's sake. Sure, Harry. You're the boss. Waste him and don't sniff. Hey, don't worry. I like my women dirty. Is that so? Rip, you are the most surprising person I have ever met. <laughs> me what happened to you 
Did you find Tony? I think he's alive. Although there's one little girl that isn't. Can I get you something? I don't want anything. I've got some things to sort out. Right now I'm gonna crash. Stand very still. Good evening, Mr. Nielsen. How very nice to see you again. Come on. See, you still got this prick working for you. Huh? Oh, come now. We'd like to give our cousins in the colonies and help now and then. Is that what I was, one of the cousins in the You're colonies? You're listening. The girl is dead. People are starting to talk. No shit. I mean, I can imagine. Not listening. Just take care of it. I don't know what all this goddamn assistance is, but believe me, I aim to. Right. And we're going to give you all the assistance we can. We can even get you into the club. You're not a member, are you? There you are, Mr. Costello's office on the right, toilet on the left. Try not mix them up. Hey, fuck you and your little dog. I shall miss him. Sure you get that motherfucker. Are you gonna be singing soprano when I get back? Do you hear me? Huh? Do you hear? Come on, baby. 
Come on, you can make it. You can make it. Come on, come on! See you, Web. Especially all the uh, problems you had a while back, you know. How you doing, sweetheart? Uh, oh, come on! What the hell is everybody sitting around like sticks? Happy Valentine's Day for Harry! Come on! It's all right. <laughs> How's the <it> family? <laughs> We know who you are. And if you went out to the plantation, you just might find Harry. Salamat. Good luck. Don't kill me, man. Please, don't. Please, man. I swear to God, I don't know nothing. <laughs>
guys out of here. Don't look back, all right? Webb? Hey, Harry, where you been? How'd you know I was coming here? 
the lady confessed. Sit down with me, all right? Now I can see you properly. Well, we'll finish that family discussion. Sit down. Sit down. I, uh... Now, I got no hassle with you, Blair, okay? It's not reasonable for two old buddies to be fighting and killing each other like this. Remember the last time you called me an old buddy, Harry? Listen, I'm... I'm sorry about that night with Jesse. Seems to be the magic word in this forgotten country, doesn't it, huh? Sorry. Now listen, I'm gonna level with you, straight, okay? Now drugs, me, business. Jesse, Jesse's a degenerate. I mean, she, if she didn't nail you in that room, she would have nailed somebody else. That's how she gets her kicks. What about, um... A little girl, Susie. A mistake. Well, I, that was a mistake. But what about Andy? Sam? Luke? Huh? Now listen, I know that. Hey, listen, oh, where's Tony at? I don't know where Tony is. I mean, that was another misunderstanding. We'll find him. We'll find him. <laughs> He's young. He made a mistake. Who does it? Listen, this is between me and you. Now, listen, man. We're two of a kind. We're two of a kind. And I reckon that qualifies you for a full partnership. That's exactly what I was thinking. Now, now listen, man. Me and you together, we could rule Asia in our pockets. I'm talking millions. I got a fortune in there. And you could have what you so richly deserve. And no one could say that Webb Nielsen wasn't a sporting man. <laughs> Web. Spilling. Huh? Gasoline. You know, you had 20, 30 girls inside that hangar. Yeah. Look at this trail. All the way from the hangar. That jerry can I'm sitting on. <laughs> so I better not smoke around this area. I mean, one of these ashes fell down on this gas, and that thing would go up like the 4th of July. Now, wait a minute, Webb. Wait a minute. Don't do anything crazy. See that broom over there? Yeah. That's your only chance, Harry. What the fuck are you talking about, Webb? Because if you don't put that fire in, it's in Wait a minute. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on.
you son of a bitch! My God! I got him, huh? <laughs> we go home now. Huh? What the fuck's on? Uh, Susie? <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh no, 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 no. Growing up. This is what you call oh, growing up. do all your dirty work for you, didn't you? Did a good job. I knew you would. A little overkill. All in all, he did a good job. Tony. Hey, Tony, Tony, put the gun down. Tony, this isn't the time. He's screwed up. I mean, look at him, all right? He doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Look at me! Tony, put the gun down. Listen to him, kid. Put the gun down. Come on, put it down. Put the fucking gun down! Oh, my God. 